Who opposes gender identity politics in your country? Anna. So in the Czech Republic, it's generally far-right political parties as well as right-wing parties who oppose gender identity politics. I, I mean, I tried to look for radical feminist groups which would oppose this ideology, but there's none. Uh, therefore, the opposition is rather conservative, and so the radical feminist or gender critical view isn't represented at all in this debate in the Czech Republic. And on the contrary, the trans activist perspective is being represented, and there has been like a new, rather visible trans activist organizations uh, in the Czech Republic, which has been made five years ago. And um, also organizations which advance lesbian and gay rights and human rights in general also support trans ideology. So it's generally seen by young people as progressive and liberal. So who opposes gender identity politics in your country? A Finnish feminist. Yeah, in Finland it's quite the same as apparently in, in Czech Republic. Um, I read on the news that there was a new uh, article of this, like which parties support gender identity politics and four of the nine political parties, Social Democratic Party, Greens, Left Alliance and the Swedish People's Party. We have a Swedish minority in Finland or Swedish speaking minority. Um, th yeah, they support law changes that would allow legal recognition of non-binary gender. So only Christian Democrats and true Finns who are the national or national racist uh, party, only those uh, oppose gender identity laws. And in general, young people, or at least like left-leaning young people are completely, uh, support completely everything related to trans issues and there are some uh, radical feminists, but uh, we have a Facebook group and there are 40 people there and it's not sure if all of them are even radical feminists because many of them never speak or like we don't know who, who, who exactly are they. And then there is there used to be a, a, a Reddit group and there were maybe a little bit more than 100 people there, but they closed it down when there was this case of of closing down many Reddit women related groups. So that was one, but now we have a, a new website, but I guess even there, there's like not, not so many people are, are against, or at least publicly, publicly nobody is against this, except some Christian Democrat politician. Right. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so now we're going to ask uh, Jimena uh, from Bolivia, who opposes gender identity politics in your country? Uh, in Bolivia, the Catholic Church and the Protestant Church, as well as far-right parties. On the other hand, trans activist group has received support for organizations that should defend women's rights, such as UN Women Bolivia, Catholics for the Right to the Sea, and Mujeres Creando. Uh, I, I have two photos of Maria Galindo, that uh, she is a feminist, anarchist, and pro-trans activist. How about you, Rochelle, uh, in uh, the Bahamas? Is anybody opposing it, saying uh, transgenderism, there is a problem with it? With it? I think for the most part, it's kind of a silent um, opposition. Um, of course, with Seawill coming on board, um, the government made it clear that they did not sign on to Seawill at all. Um, and that was through the Department of Gender. Um, the director did say that, that the government kind of didn't give their okay to this. And I think that's from the legal side of things because, you know, they don't really recognize recognize this at all. And, and so, you know, a female transgender would still be identified as a male um, in terms of their sex. And so the government didn't sign on to it. And I think for the most part, there's a lot of, there are, there were a lot of women who decided not to join that organization for religious purposes. And of course, then there are the people, you know, who questioned um, where, whether or not, you know, those leadership roles um, should be reserved for 
um, women, particularly in terms of sex being female. And so collectively, I think um, it's just an um, opposition straight across the board. But with leadership in our country, it's already, you know, um, it's already a matter of elitist, elitism versus, you know, civil, civil liberties. And so for that reason, I think that, you know, across the board, it's just um, opposed. Mm -hmm.